How good could your voice sound if you were speaking from the diaphragm at all times? Is there really a simple way to do this when everybody else's videos seem to make it so complicated? In this video I'll show you how you can sound your best by speaking from the diaphragm with a simple trick that nobody else seems to be teaching. I'll also prove to you that anyone can do this one thing to have a more beautiful, resonated, stronger voice instantly. And how and when to use it so that you can sound and feel effortlessly great whenever you really, really want to. First, let's address the elephant in the room, which is, who the hell am I and how do I dare to call into question all the experts that say, speaking from the diaphragm requires seven complicated steps and years of practice. How would I know anything that they don't? Really just years of struggle to overcome my weird voice issues. It all started when I accidentally almost killed myself at the age of three by sucking on the spout of a teapot with boiling water inside, which made my relationship with my voice rather traumatic, especially since doctors told my parents I had boiled my vocal cords and wouldn't be able to speak again if I survived. So yeah, when I learned to speak again, I had a few issues. One was fear of breathing in which is kind of crucial when you're speaking or trying to. So when I had the mad idea to want to become an actor later, even got into drama school, you could say I had to dig a little deeper than most to find a solution to my voice issues. And I tried everything and nothing worked until I accidentally stumbled onto this bizarre trick to literally speak from the diaphragm on command. And yes, this trick is so simple, it's almost laughable. You'll see what I did there in a minute. In fact, let's do a little demonstration of this right now. Okay, let's do it together so that you can really feel it. Are you ready? Place one hand on your belly between your belly button and your rib cage, just loosely so you can feel what's going on. Step number two, keep your hand there, relax, and then laugh. Fake it to get started and then enjoy it and get into it. And it will turn into a real laugh, a bit like this. <laughs> okay, if you can't laugh at all, then you need to get a life or you really need to get some help. When you laugh, important, make the laughing noises, okay? Don't hold back on them. Relax and notice how much is going on below where your hand is placed. Your hand should be bobbling up and down. This is the big lesson, the voice you just had when you were laughing. That's you speaking from the diaphragm. Use that same voice when you speak. In other words, go from laughter to speaking and you'll be speaking from the diaphragm. Okay, now what do you do with this? You've just learned this stupid simple way of speaking from the diaphragm and that's it? You'll sound like Morgan Freeman forever? No, you've got to know how to use it. And yes, you'll need to build it into your routine somehow, make yourself remember and know when and how to switch yourself back into diaphragm mode. Here's how, every morning, find a moment when you can get yourself to have a nice healthy belly laugh. Enjoy it, make the laughing noises like I said, Relax, don't push it, don't hold it, don't put tension in there, just let it happen. The biggest problem with all the techniques for how to sing or speak from the diaphragm is usually people becoming so overfocused on their breathing that they get way too much tension into their chest and into their abdomen. So here, just trust the process. You're just releasing your body's natural ability to use its voice. So have fun, laugh, make the laughter noises, turn them into words and get used to what your voice actually sounds like when you're fully connected and your diaphragm and your abdominal muscles are naturally engaged. Repeat during the day whenever you feel like reminding yourself. Also great, of course, before a presentation, a big team meeting, an event, any kind of loud event, anytime you need to feel great, confident and you wanna have a strong, warm, resonant voice. Now, what other ways are there to help you develop an attractive voice that is clear, easy to understand and helps you to come across with the kind of impact that you want? Well, one really helpful thing is to regularly practice your consonants and your vowels, especially if you're speaking English as a second language. Think about it. If you're exercising your body and you're communicating with your voice, shouldn't you also exercise your voice? You'll enjoy speaking more, you'll be understood better, and you'll have more impact on others. I've made copies of a cheat sheet with practice paragraphs for consonants and vowels that I used to use in drama school, even with my own personal scribbles on them, just for you to practice with every day. You can download it here at the link. I see you there.